All right, so I think the stream thinking about things ready to go though. So hello everybody, Megazard X here. Back at the beginning to give y'all another very exciting stream. And that is gonna be none other than me playing Final Fantasy 16. Now, I don't understand why. And some of y'all might've seen this, many of y'all probably haven't though. I tried to do this stream live there on Twitch. However, Twitch was not being friendly today, or at least tonight. And it's the second time in a row that this mess has happened where I have to throw it over here on the main channel. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm trying to fix this mess because I know I'm going to be streaming a bit more in the month of December. Now that I got most of my videos planned out, scheduled with my editors, stuff. So we about wrapped it up on my side on the on the Bizarre the Studios, if you want to call it that. I got most of my stuff planned out, so I'm just spending the rest of the month just chilling, enjoying my holiday, streaming some games, though. So, I'll be it. All of that thoughts aside, we're going to be playing some Final Fantasy 16. Now, I will say this. I feel like I'm roughly around 75% of the way through on this game, though. So that's just kind of a quick heads up in case you're wondering exactly where I'm at in the midst of this story. I, you, you can kind of check out my stats right here. I'm on, like, level 34. I got most of my my special ability where i just kind of go all out right there and if you want to see which i mean that's most of the map and you can see by the maps i knocked out like four of the crystals and there's only one more crystal left so that's just kind of a heads up there and the exact mission where i'm on it's cloak and dagger right there so that's basically the gist of where I'm at right now. If you just want to know exactly where I'm at in the story, though. But I will say this. This is best boy of the year right here. Best boy of the year. I never thought I would have a, a dog companion for like the whole entire game, though. But I've been thoroughly... I, I say I've been thoroughly enjoying Final Fantasy 16. It's a lot better than, honestly, what I thought it was going to be. And I, I've been really liking this game. Cyril. How fares the search? Well, Your Grace. My report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. But we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. If you have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve. Now this Ultima Punk, which is like the dude that's kind of pulling all the strings in this game now. I'm like, what the heck is this dude's problem? Now I'm not the biggest Final Fantasy uh, fan out there. Like, I, I like some Final Fantasy. Like, I played the first one all the way through. I played the original Final Fantasy 7, played 7 Remake and stuff. And obviously played 16, and I got through maybe half of Final Fantasy 10 before something popped up and I never finished it. So I'm familiar with the series. I also own things to that Final Fantasy collection. I own one, two, three, four, five, six. 
OG7 7, 7 Remake, 10, and now 16. So I have a good chunk of... Well, I guess when you do the math, that's like a little over half of the series, though. But whatever Ultima is, and they, they have like a little picture of him on like some tapestry thing, and he showed up, or at least in picture-wise, three different times or something um, for, throughout this game and during different events and stuff. And I feel like it looks like Sephiroth's final form, at least in 7. So I don't know. I feel like there's something with the lore that's going on with it. And I just not super familiar with it, though. But, man, I whew, I, I need to talk to a Final Fantasy junkie or something. Is that a bunch of... Ah, good night. I do like the combat in the game. I don't know why some people have been kind of bashing this game in terms of the combat, though. But I, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. See how quick I can kill these punks. And I will say the combat's pretty varied between everything that you could possibly do. Like I, I'm not I haven't gotten bored of it at all yet. Not a, not a single bit though, but I think out of all these icons and or yeah, I, icons, icons. Sometimes I want to say icons. I think it's technically icons or whatever though. But out of all of the the ones I have abilities to at the moment, I will say that um, E Freak's abilities or slash the Phoenix abilities are some of my favorite ones because like you can see all the ones I have unlocked thus far. Let's see here. Yeah, so like I got the Phoenix, Garuda, Ramu, Titan, and Bahamut. I say my favorite ones, Phoenix and Garuda are like two of them that are like really solid. And I feel like I could never drop one of these two abilities because they're just that versatile um, with everything you're able to do. However, the other one, I feel like Bahamut's the third nice pick and you can only use three at one time. Because before I had Bahamut's abilities, I was using Titans. Dang, these bandits are everywhere. Dang, I didn't even see the fat boy up there. Casting all this magic. Get out of here. Oh. that didn't take long now throughout this game you'd be fighting a lot of different um icons throughout the story and i would say in terms of boss fights the one where you fight titan and it yeah actually yeah when you fight titan i say that one was my favorite one thus far solely because of the music alone like some of the music has been good up in this game but a lot of it has been just okay to go through but it hasn't been anything like super outstanding and memorable. But I will remember the boss fight theme for that one. Because I really do like that theme. That was really cool. The three men are still holding their own then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Dang, that whole city about to get burned down. Oh, shoot. I was thinking I was working my way. Ooh, okay, no, I'm not working my way over to, over to that crystal. All right. Oh, and that's the other interesting thing is when I'm going through these different environments, I reached a point in the story where uh, that bad dude, Ultima, 
he literally turned the skies like dark so most of these environments i'm walking into now they don't look the same as what i first encountered not these ones i'm going through right now but some of the other areas like you can see looking at the like the sky is super cloudy it was not like this um a while back though Wait a minute, hold on here, did I? I'm trying to make sure that I head the right way. Oh, okay. I accidentally hit the gilded path again. I meant to hit this. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think it stumbled off a cliff. Ah, oh, Gareth, my good old boy. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. What the freak? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> He's trying to be uh, super formal, and she's like, "Like, dang, dude! Like, oh, I just do a standard handshake. That's how we do it around these parts." Uncle Byron, <laughs> it's really you. I never thought we'd see the day. <laughs> These Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned. But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Walter is doing. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. find them and quickly what do you propose we split into two parties i will make for the merchants district while you look to those across the river mind keeping an eye on my brother not at all we find the villa and try the servants entrance understood and what of us mid is she fit to sail the ship? Uh, the mistral engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you're stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe! Uh. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. 
Dang, I'm what, what? I'm going out here soloing now? Oh, shoot. Dang. Everybody left me. All right, even fall. Let's go. Dang, they're, they're hacking slashing them punks. I was trying to do something real quick and I was like, oh, whatever, forget it. Now, the only thing I kind of would say I'm not a big fan of about 16, it's a little bit on the performance side. Like, right now I'm playing it on, which I feel like YouTube's not doing the, the, the game full justice, unfortunately though. But like right now I'm playing the game on the, basically performance mode. Cause I was like, in a, with an action game like this, I prefer to keep my 60 frames per second versus, you know, just going with pure graphics in an action game because I don't know something about action games if it's not in 60 frames for me it just kind of seems a little wet however I guess while I've been going through and uh, playing this game though there's like little things like motion blur and stuff and then there's also things like you know well, the motion bar, you, you notice it real easily whenever you're just moving around and just trying to, gosh dang, when you're moving around and just trying to change the, the camera angle, if you try to move it too fast, it's, it's just really noticeable and stuff. And then sometimes your friends just kind of drop out of nowhere, just running around in, uh, in the world and stuff. Not the biggest fan on that. I feel like the game might have been able to be optimized a little better than that. But that's the only other issues and if I'm noticing this issues while just playing the game on my TV I can only imagine what it's probably looking like just me streaming it on YouTube though Hey, why is this punk running away? Golly. There we go. That's like a pretty good combo move, I'll say right there. Using the ignition, just blaze my way, blaze my way around, and then hitting them with uh, with the Phoenix bird attack thing. I hate it when people throw these magical barriers up. Noise the crap out of me. I let it rip there.
see what I find at the very top. Oh, dang, someone. Gosh, dang. Stupid dog. Get down, boy. Bring down the hammer on you. And the trick, the trick to this thing is, if you want to charge this thing up faster, like parrying the, making the dodge at the the right moment will like give you instant charge up like that. I think the way I got my thing upgraded, it can go up to like four levels. Ooh, dear. Golly, he wombo combo me. What the heck? Should finish him up right here. There we go. Hey, man, they just won't stay down. That kind of looks like a uh, a boss. Or, wait, no, I see multiple enemies there. Okay. Sometimes, if I know a boss is about to come up, I like to switch one of my abilities around. One that's like specializes in hitting one enemy versus hitting like multiple enemies. Sometimes I'll do that. giving it to him. Oh, he's still lit kicking? Alright, there we go. Ah, shoot. Woo! Okay. Mega Flare 3, one more. Oh, shoot. Dang it. 
The more you get hit, it is. All right, I'm gonna release it right there. Dang. Get down, boy. I will say the game, I don't feel like it's too terribly difficult with it being an action game. I think I only had, it's either two or three game overs, period. And they always typically came with a boss fight. It wasn't like none random, oh my goodness, random encounters or anything. Not random encounters, but you know, just standard encounters, should I say. Dang, I can't get that timing right. Oh, there we go. Dang, let me do it like one more time. There we go. I was thinking you couldn't enter through here. What the heck? Where are they? Someone's gonna show up. There it is. That should be it, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> you just wait for me to slash you one more time. <sighs> You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no ah, shoot, this punk. This dude saved Titan. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. For the time being, so I took that man's head. You were in my family's crypt. 
to know you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the will that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done, as you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Oh shoot. No, you will yield, boy. Oh shoot, he knows magic. He's a little more agile, so this is gonna be a pain. Come on, do your worst, boy. Right, it's time to hunt you down now. Gotta wait for that thing to light up every time to dodge it. It's gonna be hard to Well how much of a physical attacker this dude would have been it would have been kind of cool if I had the Titans powers on me I'll probably be able to do a little bit more combos on this dude Chivalry knows no bounds. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Oh, now you're a lance user instead of a sword user now? Oh, bro brother. Yes. Yes. Oh, this man gone crazy now. Ooh. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, goodness. Oh gosh, what the heck is he doing now? Dang, I'm close. This dude's caused me to have to burn through a lot of my potions. There we go. Get some um, bum bum ba da. I always like that fanfare. I like how they tweaked it up in this game. Sounds a little different, but ultimately has the same effect. Wait, is that man truly dead? Mind. Dang, I expected more out of that dude. As are you, I see. I just showed that dude midway in the game. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. Y'all better turn around. I don't think that dude's done. What's wrong? 
nothing. I hope. Holy oh, shoot! Who the heck did that? Oh shoot! It's about to get real now. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas. I'm trying to figure out which icon does this dude have. Get back. This dude was halfway possessed, if not all the way possessed, by Ultima himself. So I'm wondering about this dude. Bro, I just finished the boss fight. I'm going into another? Now they play the fanfare music and everything. This got to be straight cutscenes. Wait, hold on here. This dude taunting me. He has a hand behind his back. What the freak? Oh, uh, this dude playing with me. Uh-uh, th this messed up. Oh shoot. But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose. To surrender my mind and body to that thing. Oh, that ain't right. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly. Your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. Hold on, punk. You didn't just drop that sword now, did you? Ah, oh, shoot. You're using that black magic. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, that weapon knocked out like 10 people in the room at the same time. I don't know about this, man. Dang, you just kicked me. What the heck? Crap. Oh, man, it's just flesh room, man. Get up, get up. Man, get the, let's get the heck out of here, man. Put me on that boat. It's time to go. Oh, she ain't playing. She just busting, she busted it straight out. She like, I ain't playing no more. Oh man, I look like a bloody mess. Come on, get me the heck out of here. Oh, there's my boy. Boy of the year right there. He got my sword and he's you power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Wait, what the freak? Dang, that's the way to end the chapter right there. Oh shoot.
we be all right? The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. Ah. Oh. So he's a natural healer. Okay. This is remarkable. I hope it's oh, maybe that's the reason why Joshua's brother lives somehow. That beauty cell is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. I don't know what I was thinking, getting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. <laughs> you risked your life, and for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? Now she's uh, Sid's daughter. You wouldn't go that far. Now Sid is a really good character, and I hate how he's basically taken out of the story ten hours in. I hate that so much. He was a good character. Oh. Don't you dare do that again. What of the royalists? Fucked up, a lot of them, along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while we always dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. As long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the king. I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Whew. All right, back to the hideaway I go. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something.
And sometimes I'll check out these side quests because sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't. I haven't been really doing a lot of the side quests in this game at all. However, there were a couple that are actually good for you to do. And I will say one, basically with both of those two, one basically allows you to carry more items on you in terms of like potions and stuff or healing things or stuff that kind of helps you in battle. And then also one helps the potency of your potions so they're just a lot stronger. Wait, a rune blade? Mm. I always have to spend my time going through this and upgrading my stuff. Uh, 275. Oh gosh, that's significantly better. I got the gill, so I'm just going to go ahead and just bite out right. Find a better price than that. Let's see. Ooh, almost. Yeah, we use a lot of these potions during that fight. All right. What do I owe the honor? What sounds for you? Oh, like I spent that money on it and I could have just used the parts just to craft it. Dang. I'm trying to figure out what's the dear. Oh, the room blade is gone, but the 1 180, 180. It's a little cheaper now. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. Ooh, almost had a tag of three hundred. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else can I do to make myself a little bit stronger? Yeah, I'll just buff myself up to a strength that you can thank me later. I can still afford. There's some stuff that could go a little stronger, but I don't have the materials to do it. Okay. If it's knowledge you seek. I should be good for that. Sometimes I go ahead and do my preparations on the front end. That way I just know that on the back end, I don't have to worry about it as much. Don't do things by arms, do you? But at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, 
I'm sorry it's taken hard, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items would go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mint. Then I'll check the workshop. Alright, father like daughter. If Amber and the Lazarus are dead, do you think it's shaking on his own? This is Lucas from Sid's old diary. People already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Blood. Sid's pipes. Something tells me Sid won't be needing these. We've had no word from Canberra for days. What do you reckon we should do? I say we should just go. Oh, shoot. I guess I came up too early. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps something like that. Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as toned down as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what? Eleven, twelve, when she cobbled that thing together? It would surprise us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. It's that battered old box had to bring it in, innit? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Mm? Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Wait, they had technology like that back then? The heck? Just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. 
So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? All too well. All right, out of the way. Hmm. Started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Did show it to me, boy, but you said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. It's just how just the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Quest complete. Oh gosh, I have so many AP points. I need to well I need to cash those in. Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless what the heck? Unless he was stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are never near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. But if that fails, try stay alive, eh? here the further the flagship sails i have to get back i gotta head back over there bro now let me see what my ability points is i know i can put yeah 3529 shoot that's enough to buy like a few of these ultimates my gosh if i wanted to or even upgrade this See, that's the thing. I like how strong these ones are. However, they take up a whole entire slot on your thing. So it's not as good as what it could potentially be. Kind of sucks. Um, I do like that move. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to keep this. I'm going to get rid of this because it's basically almost the same as this when I launch that. So I'm going to go ahead and learn this move. Dang, that almost took everything. Sheesh. 
So I'm going to go ahead and re on this. Since I don't use... And that's the good thing about... Because usually most of the time when you mess with a skill tree or whatever, you usually put the abilities in there and that's it. Like you can't reset it or you have to reset everything at once. And because you can't use all of these all at the same time, you can only use three at a time. If you put your abilities and stuff, and not, not even just three of these icons at a time, you can only have three of these, three out of five of these things activated. So two of them are always going to be useless. So you can always shift around your points. So that's one thing I actually really do like, you know, just thinking about it from that angle. Um, I use this fairly often, so I might as well upgrade that. Yeah, that one's all the way maxed out. That's really important, so I keep that there. She should take a lot to upgrade that. Um, let me see what else. And I keep that there just in case I switch back to the Titan. I actually like that ability better than this one. Um. Oh, it's just mastering certain moves. Because I already... Yeah, I already basically... Upgraded them to the, the best of what they can basically be already. So I just got to master them. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm going to master this one first. I use that all the time. I probably want to master this one next. Dang, I'm like... 31 off. All right. Usually I wouldn't take that off. But I am taking it off just so I can go ahead and master this. And so if for some reason I can manage to master one. Dang, that's going to take 1,000. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Then I could put that last 120 towards that. Well, actually, I'm never going to use this. Give me, give me back them points. Uh, move that to there. Okay, there we go. I think I should be good on all my stuff now, so I should be able to go ahead and save, hit this, and we'll continue the story from this point. Let's see where we're going now. Gosh dang, back to the same area I almost nearly killed myself at. Dang, Clyde, you can't ever take a break. Hold on, did Jill get out of that fight? Like, she was holding back um, that king, though, but I hadn't seen her since that fight. What the heck? And no one said anything either. Oh, now I'm kind of worried. Like, no one has said anything. I'm surprised that dude hadn't hunt us down. Help, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ine is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help if she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise. That's what she's calling it. I've never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Do you know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. 
but it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Hmm. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cruel was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Eh? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bullets! Bullets! Magnifications! <laughs> Oh, we're about to do some Pirates of the Caribbean mess now. <laughs> Everyone with me? Yeah, Jill is still not here. Damn, we didn't have no barricades on that door, no nothing. All right, here we go. All right, come at me. Oh shoot, they're coming in in droves. <laughs> oh shoot, here comes the next wave. down boy oh you know what I did not switch my my abilities yet dang I got to do that after the fight That dude penetrate me like that. There we go. No, what the freak? But I, thought he... I told you, I was like, something ain't right about that boy. Confound it. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but the creation of Odin. Oh my gosh. Oh no. 
Wow, this is a sick, twisted dream right here. Phoenix is fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? <laughs> oh, good night. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rossfield? Oh boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. The Executioner? <laughs> Fire it up. We follow. Follow. Swimming, are you? Oh, follow me. Play anchor. Engine dead slow ahead. Oh, wait, they're going to give us a time limit on this? I should have been saved this one up. All right, here's a signal right here, baby. Just keep coming. Alright, it's time to go. It's now or never, boys. Come on. And if you can't make it out of there, the Phoenix is going to have to give us an air ride. I'm surprised we didn't let the Phoenix hold them all. Oh, man, he's an old man. He's like, I threw out my hip. <laughs> Come on, boy, run. Oh, we're swimming. We ain't making that jump. Woo! My gosh. <laughs> Went out and I... Uh, and the Pirates of the Caribbean fashion right there. I like that. Dun 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 Oh, see, he got her. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. Oh, it's personal now. They got my woman. Station. 
I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine? <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours? I... The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. I... I oh, man, you'll make your money back up once this is all done with. Sure, I'll be the king of something. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandonar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Uh. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephew. Uh. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Oh, he's getting that support. That's why he's leaving. All right. Dang, they're going to have to paddle. Ooh, that's going to be tiresome. Dang, that's gonna take forever. Oh shoot! Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Mm, twin side. Oh dear, that prince is still hobbling in his broken leg. Oh, if all of his people look at him, gosh dang, they're gonna almost want to put that man to the stake. I get you were mad that your was it mother in law came in there with a selfish, greedy son that happened to be a spawn of Ultima that convinced you to accidentally try to kill him but actually didn't we really kill the main your father and drove you mad and killed a thousand more people like but come on man Luckily, uh, dang, that's going to take forever to clean up. It's not like they got modern technology like we do nowadays. Like, oh, shoot. Hold on. Which way are we? So we came out of the port here, came this way. The father, or my, uh, I guess our uncle, is probably going to land back here somewhere and then go on foot and try to get some army support to probably meet us right here. Because I'm guessing we're trying to cut around here without falling down the falls, cut through the, the marrow, and then ride it all the way over there. Because I highly doubt we're taking the long way around. Like, shoot, I can hardly even put my cursor all the way over there without touching land. 
Yeah, so we're just going by C to go across. Oh, because no matter what we did, I doubt they had bridges where we can just go by land anyway. We were going to go by C somehow to bridge that gap. But this is also just a faster way just to get all the way around there. Okay. So I understand the way how we're going and stuff. So overall, pretty good little stream right here. I think this is where I'm going to have to unfortunately cut it now. But, oh, shoot, man, I, I really do like the mess out of this game quite a bit. A lot more so than what I originally thought. And I will say with Final Fantasy 16, I don't understand the whole commotion of people hating it and some people extremely loving it. And it was just like a, I felt like it was a war back and forth between the two, at least in the Final Fantasy community from, you know, outside looking in. Because I know some people prefer turn base over action based though but i mean i don't mind the action base here because i mean we have so many other ones previous in the series that were already turn based though i guess going in the future you can have a combination of turn base and standard ones they just need to find a way a good way to split it but obviously only one game can technically be part of the mainline series i guess but anyways i i've really been liking it i don't know how much i would like if i ever went back to play final fantasy 15 or 13 or 12 how much i might like those or may not like those in comparison to this though but i don't know i, I might eventually go back and do that because i don't know why but i always have a tendency to go back and play some kind of final fantasy game in the month of december like this year it's final fantasy 16 last year it was final fantasy 7 crisis core and i actually managed to stream that series so you can find those videos on my extras channel the year before that i was playing final fantasy 7 oh yeah final fantasy 7 remake i was playing that so every december i always have a knack to playing something final fantasy so i don't even know what i will play next year though but it probably had to be like an older game of something that came out and you know just older than just now because of the fact that Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth I'm more than likely going to play that at launch I ain't going to wait like how I did with 16 how this was drop, dropped in the middle of the summer though but that's basically going to do it in terms of the stream right here who knows if I feel like streaming it again I might stream and you know some more Final Fantasy 16 in the future or soon if I hadn't beaten the game off stream or something like that so there's a chance i might stream this again or might stream it in my finale run if i know it's coming or something like that though but honestly really good and stuff really do like and appreciate this game for those that are still viewing this whether it's still here on my main channel if i happen to move the stream over here to the extra channel if you happen to be watching this video all before december 7th yes on thursday roughly around 9 p.m central standard time it could be a little bit before a little after that you know date still you know time point should i say it's still pending though but i will be streaming the game awards live here on my main channel though so yeah so keep an eye out on my main channel whenever i post when the actual time i will start to stream up though but should have a really good fun time with the game awards stuff and then the next regular stream outside of that special event should be on saturday where i will be streaming resident evil 2 i don't know whether i'm going to be doing that on twitch or if i'll be doing it on my extra channel or if I'll be doing that on the main channel. It's going to be one of those three I got to somehow put the stream on somehow. If I can fix Twitch, it'll be over on Twitch. If not, I might just start doing my streams on the extras channel, though, because I don't want to make, like, a normal habit of streaming on the main channel unless it's a podcast episode or a special event like a launch day stream or something like that, though. But that's going to basically do it in terms of this video right here. So if you really like this stream for Final Fantasy 16, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that bell. That way you can stay up to date on all things video game related. I feel like talking about and discussing, including streams here and there, though, and especially for the Game Awards stream that should be coming up in a couple of days, though. So uh, remember, y'all, until whatever video I make next or until the next stream I do, uh, take care and uh, have a good night.